We became really good friends. Yeah, no, we gotta go, dude. That's gonna be so cool. While safety is his primary concern, for authenticity, Ruben is shooting on location and letting the kids do their own stunts. We're trying to do everything real. Do it with the real kids, the real height. Jack Gill is the stunt coordinator, and he's been working with Mac and Elijah, getting them comfortable in the safety rigs, getting them comfortable with climbing and dangling. We have a lot of fun, like we jump off this high thing and like bounce up before you hit the ground. They can climb up uh, from the bottom to the top as many times as they want and also make all the mistakes they want. And they're always in, in the safety margin. They can't fall. And you're hanging and swinging. And it, was, it was a lot of fun. Mac and Elijah are both very athletic, very gutsy, too gutsy. He just taught me all these stuff like to jump and like swing around. The cable that we have him on, will withstand 920 pounds, so we've gone way over the margin here. And what's that you have in your hand? About a beaner. Something what about did the beaner do? Saved my life. The guy at the lab said to the cameraman, what are you guys doing with those kids? That looks really dangerous. And we loved when we heard this, because the goal of all this is to make it physically safe, but look on screen very dangerous. If we can pull it off, it's just much more exciting than if you do with effects. Macaulay's real life sister, Quinn Culkin, plays the part of Connie, whose life becomes threatened when her older brother, Henry, gets jealous. We're doing a scene where Mac takes his younger sister skating. Um. He throws me in the ice, and I just fall through. Hey, no, don't follow, don't follow. They had to push me so it looked like I slid there all the way. And let go! Win, that was terrific. <laughs> the skating stuff is pretty involved because we're dealing with um, a six-year-old girl that has to fall through the real ice. Oh, come on. Okay, great. We're still dealing with temperatures of 42, 43 degrees water. I freak out and I run and I run to try and save Connie. See it through the eyes! Henry's your average American boy, but when he does something bad, he doesn't feel guilt. He doesn't feel bad about it. That's what Henry is, is a child without a conscience. It becomes a struggle between two kids, uh, ultimately life and death struggle. It is the good son, and which one is the good son? He scares me sometimes. He just does a lot of evil things. What if there was this boy? He did these terrible things because he liked doing them. What are you saying, was evil? I don't believe in evil. You should. A true cliffhanger till the very end, the good son.